Hello, everybody. Welcome to Intro to Business. My name is Lindsay Kellenberg, and I am your professor for this course. I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of show you around class uh, so you can become a little bit more familiar with me and for how the class is structured just to kind of, you know, get you on a great start and set you all up for success. So uh, when you open your class or your course, you will come to this point right here. This is your course content. This is the meat of the class, okay? So um, this is where you're going to find all your assignments, reading assignments, uh, you know, quizzes, discussions, etc. You can also um, access your discussions up here, but I, I make sure that they are in each of your weekly modules um, just you know, to less, lessen the confusion. So when you come to your class first, you're going to come to this. You're going to come to this start here. This is where you're going to find information about me and uh, the best way to communicate. You're going to find great information about the course here. Your syllabus, just make sure you read that and then uh, go to this course agreement form and just hit agree. This is just you're agreeing to, to the syllabus. It's set up like a quiz, but it take you two seconds. It's one, it's one question. Um, here's your course schedule. It is tentative. It could change, but it does, it should give you a great idea of what you'll be having um, each week. Uh, I use Remind in this class, and if you're not familiar with it, it is an app where I can send um, text messages, like due dates, sorry, where I can send reminders of due dates um, and anything like that to you all. If you download the app, you can actually message me, and it'll come to me like a, te uh, like a text. Uh, most of my students love that feature because it's a very quick way to get a hold of me. Um, but if you don't want to download the app, that's fine too. Um, you can still just sign up for the text and you'll find that information um, as well. Um, here you're going to find information just on the course description itself as long as well as the required materials. Uh, the book for this class is completely free if you're okay with an ebook. You can also um, buy like a physical hard copy, if you will, from Amazon, and I believe it is uh, 40 or 50 bucks. Um, but if you're okay with an ebook, it is completely free. And then here are um, a few other great resources for you to check out. So make sure you start there. Um, this is your uh, textbook. Here's the link for it. Once again, completely free, and it's a great textbook, so I hope you enjoy it. And then this is the rest of your class. Um, this is pretty cool because it, this little uh, meter here, if you will, kind of shows you um, how far along in each weekly module that you are. Um, and because I have clicked on one thing in here, it tells me I've done, uh, started one of 12. But um, this is kind of how I set up your module. So um, because this is an eight week class, right? So it is, we will move a lot faster than your normal 16 week. We will be covering more materials each week. So the first week we're just covering one chapter. You have additional things like your introductions, your course agreement test, you know, your pre-test, which is not, uh, you know, don't fret. It is not a test that you'll be counted off on. You just get points for doing it. It just is an assessment and shows us where you are when you start the class. You'll do something very similar at the end, showing us where you are, um, where you, when you finish the class, it is for our, our purposes and knowledge only. Um, but I do have each module and your chapter material set up in folders because most weeks will be doing uh, multiple chapters so I just was trying to organize it better for you and I'm going to show you that. So let's click on week two because here you will be doing chapters two and three. So if I ever do an assignment and I do in a lot of modules like a chapter two and three assignment, I've got a chapters five and six assignment, chapters eight and nine assignment, um, I do not put those in the chapter folders just because they combine chapters and just so you're not confused. I, I just want you to be able to see it. But other than that, I put all each chapter materials in its own folder. So here you'll find all the videos for chapter two, your PowerPoint, which the PowerPoints are great synopsises of each chapter. So if you like that, you should definitely check it out. Uh, your learning outcomes for each chapter and then your quizzes for each chapter. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, and then your discussion, if you have one for that chapter, you won't have one for every chapter, um, but uh, it will be in that particular folder. So there you'll see chapter two. This is all of your chapter three materials. Um, and then your chapters two or three assignments. So that's kind of how I have each module set up. I'll show you a different one. Here's week three. We're covering chapters four, five, and six. So three chapters this week. Um, and I have it set up since you, once again, you have an assignment that combines chapters. I have that separate, but here's chapter four and you'll see 
all of that, um, and then I have it for each one. So that's how I have your module set up. Um, like I said, I, I like organization, so I try to keep it as organized as possible. Um, and then your finals week, of course, and then here toward the end, you'll see some other really valuable resources here for you to check out, okay? Um, up here, you'll, you'll find some different things such as your calendar, um, uh, announcements, you don't see any yet, but you, I promise you will, day one of, well, day one of class, you'll start seeing announcements. I do post announcements fairly regularly, not every day or anything like that, but pretty regular. So uh, just make sure that you kind of check that out when you log in. Um, here is a great look at discussions. Now, right now I have everything viewable because I wanted to be able to show you around, but once class starts, you won't be able to see everything at once. Um, I will open the weeks as we go. So you might see more now um, than you will as soon as class starts. But, um, and then here you'll find your grade book. Uh, make sure you keep up with that. I'm pretty great, pretty good at uh, keeping it updated. So just make sure you check it out uh, regularly. And then um, here, if you wanna message me while you're in Blackboard, um, you can do it here and it will go to my email as well. Um, so that's kind of a, a good brief, if you will, um, overlay or overlook of this class. Um, and if you have any questions at all, um, just give yourself time to like dig in, play around with it. Uh, if you have questions, please, please don't re hesitate to reach out to me. Um, it will move fast. If you've taken a summer course, you know how that is. Um, but a lot of my students like, like it because you just got to keep going, right? So it's going to be a great semester and I'm really looking forward to it. Again, if you have any questions, reach out, reach out to me and I will be uh, chatting with you all soon.